This isn't some, some like amazing highlighter that I've put on my face. Like it's literally so hot that I'm dripping with sweat. I'm gonna need to wash all of my makeup brushes because they're wet from me using them. And um, if I'm like blinking too much, it's because I've put on lashes and they're, I don't know how anyone lives with this on their face. <laughs> because I wanted to try them and I think they look really cute but I don't know how anyone anyone lives with this and for those of you who are about to come for me and say oh like, I, it's it, you should be grateful like I wish it was hot where I was I'm taking these off oh, that's enough of that oh that is such an uncomfortable sensation for those of you who are about to come for me for the weather okay I am a warm-blooded person like I I am warm in winter you can ask Saf. Like, I wear shorts everywhere. I I really, really resent sleeves, and I will only wear them if I'm feeling cold. But my legs are always warm. I am always warm. I'm just a beacon of heat. And it's really hot, and I feel like a dog trapped in a car, because as much as I have a fan on, it's just pushing around hot air. And Please, I beg of you to understand that I've closed my window so that there is no noise from oncoming traffic in this video. Something that I have been saying semi-seriously throughout COVID is that if this continues into next year, like the lockdown and COVID-19 just continues into next year, and it surpasses specifically my birthday because it already surpassed my best friend's birthday and we couldn't properly celebrate it but if it surpasses my birthday next year i'm starting a cult and i'm, I'm semi-serious about it because i this is this boredom is driving me crazy and i also do think that i have the charisma and personality to start a cult but recently on The Rage, where I host a show called The Apostate Alliance, and you should definitely check those out because I definitely think that it's one of the best ex-religious shows on the platform, on YouTube, in the world even, possibly. We interviewed an ex-Scientologist called Chris Shelton, and he made the suggestion in the last episode we did with him that I should react to L. Ron Hubbard's Dianetics, and because of John Peterson, I now have a copy of Dianetics, so I would like to read it to see how L. Ron Hubbard started his own cult. Because here's the thing, here's the thing, like as much as I am joking, kind of, as much as I'm joking, I am not spiritual but I'm interested in like mystical stuff and I, I, I love ideas, like ideas are what kind of get to me and Something that I found extremely inviting about Scientology, even though I don't think that Scientology in general is something appealing to me, something that I found interesting about Scientology is how it kind of allows you to become seduced by your own imagination. And I, I kind of like that. I, I also deeply understand how damaging that is as a student of psychology, but I also want to understand the modern science of mental health. <laughs> and L. Ron Hubbard's uh, take on that. So I'm going to open this on camera and hopefully not damage it because as much as it's a terrible book and that has affected the lives of many, I don't like damaging books. That's a lie. Uh, I have damaged many books in my time because I'm just, I'm just the worst. Never lend me your books. Ever. They will get ruined in some way, shape or form because I'm so rough with everything. As you saw, I literally pulled my eyelashes off in this video. So before we actually start, <laughs> look, all I'm saying is, is like two years ago, I had this, this series of dreams that I've read on this channel because I wrote them out in like creative pieces. I had this series of dreams about the world being engulfed in water and it would be like water world eventually. And this year, this year, Bangladesh has like sunk by 30%. So if, if another country sinks underwater, I'm declaring that I am an oracle and I'm starting a cult, but I need some guidelines on how to start a cult. So uh, first and foremost, it is a number one New York Times bestseller and the publisher is New Era and this was published in 2020. It is a thick, like, it's a thick book, so I don't know how many episodes 
we're gonna do here I mean, I'm gonna take off this band it says your principal battle is the one with yourself you can win you can look you can I can look understand decide and act no more inner conflict thanks to Dianetics I am achieving my goals chick Korea 23 Grammy award-winning jazz musician and at the back it says you naturally have self-confidence a mindset for growth open a mindset for growth the ability to focus clearly happiness a positive outlook and inner peace anything that pulls you down from that is in your mind if you were able to clear your mind from one unsuspected but critical factor you would naturally have the above qualities again dianetic re dianetics reveals what is what this factor is a secret in plain view you can change it now and there are over 22 million readers in 150 countries okay um dianetics and this is the blurb it's it's a very scant blurb i don't know if there's more of one oh there's like a there's like a forward inside we'll read those too um dianetics is an adventure it is an exploration into terra incognita the human mind and was at that vo mm. terra incognita the human mind that vast and hitherto unknown realm half an inch back of our foreheads so we have a, a black and white still of excellent his face is now in my house ain't no angels entering my house of Elron Hubbard and it says no more fitting statements typifies typifies Elron Hubbard than his simple declaration I like to help others and I like their money and count it as my greatest pleasure in life to see a person free himself of the d shadows which darken his days and create new shadows to darken his future with over 200 million copies of his work in circulation and dozens of international bestsellers he has inspired a movement spanning every continent on earth all told those works comprise some 5,000 writings and 3,000 recorded lectures and as such not only stand as the single most embracive statement on the human mind and spirit but provide the only the only road to total spiritual freedom the great, yet the greatest testament to L. Ron Hubbard are the miracles of his technology. Pseudoscience, pseudoscience. When they use words like miracle, pseudoscience of his technology and the millions of friends who carry forth the technology into eternity, both continue to grow with each passing day. And what is the beginning? All right. So in in the front sort of forward it says containing discoveries heralded as greater than the wheel or fire dianetics has remained a bestseller for more than 50 years and with over and i have now contributed to that and with over 20 million copies in print generating a movement that spans over a hundred nations there's there's a lot of conflicting numbers in just like the cover it's indisputably the most widely read and influential book ever written about the human mind. I was going to contest that just deeply because man has the Bible to contend with. But I don't know if it's, it's the most influential book ever written about the human. I don't know if you can make claims like that. Here is the anatomy and full description of the reactive mind, the previously unknown source of nightmares, unreasonable fears, upsets and insecurities which enslave man with a capital M. This book shows you how to get rid of it and so achieve something man has previously only dreamed of, the state of clear. Among the discoveries herein, the goal of man, the dynamic principle of existence, the one word that motivates all living things, the four dynamics that drives upon which all of life is compartmented, the descriptic graph of survival. You don't... You don't need a graph to... You know what? Revealing one's true potential and how to achieve it. The discovery of and complete anatomy of the reactive mind. The painful experiences engrams contained in the reactive mind which command one to act irrationally against their own wishes and goals. The impact of prenatal engrams. <sighs> prenatal engrams. The, what took place before you were born and how it's influenced you ever since. 
That's a bold claim. That is a bold claim. The complete Dianetics procedure to discover and eradicate these harmful experiences so that they never affect you again, revealing that one person you've always wanted to know. You. Alright, I like that they put a little, this book belongs to, as if I was ever going to lose this. <laughs> to the reader, to the reader forward is Dianetics from Greek, dia, through, and nous, soul, delineates fundamental principles of the mind and spirit. Through the application of these discoveries, it, beca it became apparent that Dianetics dealt with a beingness that defied time, the human spirit. The human spirit does not defy time, demonstrably. But I mean, Scientologists also- but like, this is- this is meant to be an introduction, no? Into Scientology? Like, ugh, he goes into like, Thetan and like, all of that, but oh, this is just stupid. Dealt with the beingness that defied time, the human spirit uh, uh, originally nominated the I and subsequent, subsequently the Thetan. From there, Mr. Hubbard continued his research, <laughs> research, eventually mapping the path to full spiritual freedom for the individual. Dianetics is a forerunner and sub-study of Scientology, which, as practiced by the Church, addresses only the Thetan, spirit, which is senior to the body and its relationship to and effects on the body. This book is presented as it is written in 1950 and is part of L. Ron Hubbard's religious literature and works and is not a statement of claims made by the author, published, publisher or any Church of Scientology. It is a record of Mr. Hubbard's observations and okay, fuck man, like I get it, he wrote the book. Neither Dianetics nor Scientology is offered as nor professes to be physical healing, nor is any claim made to that effect. The church does not accept individuals who desire treatment of physical or mental illness, but in that's not true. <laughs> but instead requires a competent medical examination for physical conditions by qualified specialists before addressing their spiritual cause. Like, I would have agreed if it was just physical, but the fact that they included mental illness is, um, I'm pretty sure they're pseudoscientific cures for mental illness. Like, this whole book is about the modern science of mental health. The Hubbard Electrometer, or the E-Meter, is a religious artifact used in the church. The E-Meter by itself does, not, does nothing and is only used by ministers and ministers in training qualified in its use to help uh, parish parishioners locate the source of spiritual tra travail. The attainment of the benefits and goals of Dianetics and Scientology requires each individual's dedicated participation as only through one's own efforts can they be achieved. We hope reading this book is the first step of a personal voyage of discovery into new and vital world religion. Into this new and vital world religion. Do you, do you see why Like, I want hints? Like, If I want to start my own cult, start my own religion, like this is where I would need to start- oh, he's, he's dedicated to somebody, to Will Durant. Oh. Oh, people be guessing your name will. <laughs> Alright, so aside from, the, it's so hot in here, aside from the initial forward, there's also an important note. In reading this book, be very certain you never go past a word you do not fully understand. The only reason a person gives up a study or becomes confused or unable to learn is because he or she has gone past a word that was not understood. The confusion or inability to grasp or learn comes after a word the person did not have defined and understood. It may not only be the new and unusual words you have to look up, some commonly used words can often be misdefined and so cause confusion. <laughs> the gaslighting starts early with this one, huh? <laughs> this datum. What the fuck is a datum? I have I have to already use the glossary. They have a glossary at the back. This datum. What the fuck is a datum? I'm a literature student, by the way. Like, I, my vocabulary is pretty large, even though I sometimes behave like an ignorant buffoon. Okay, they don't have datum here. Well, you want me to bust out the actual dictionary? No, I'm gonna go with implicate. Fuck you, important note. This datum about not going past an undefined word is the most important fact in the whole subject of study. Every subject you have taken up and abandoned has its words which you failed to get defined. Wait, are you just making assumptions now? Elron, Hubbard, like, Ron, my guy. 
chill the fuck out. They're just words. I don't need this level of like it's we haven't even gotten to the first page. Like this is just the important note and we're already being gaslit about words we may not understand or may have understood previously but may have misunderstood. Like <sighs> the priming. Therefore, in this in studying this book, be very very certain you never go past a word you do not fully understand. If the material becomes confusing or you cannot seem to grasp it, there will be a word just earlier that you have not understood. You don't go any further, but go back to before you got into trouble, find the misunderstood word and get it defined. Boy, you oh, run, run. All right, synopsis. So this is page I, not even into it yet. Dianetics, Greek dia through and nous mind or soul, is, a, is the science of, the, of mind. Not to be confused with theory of mind, clearly, which is actual psychology and this is just pseudo everything, this is pseudo psychology. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it is but there have been philosophers and psychologists in the past who have like defined where the mind is and how the mind um, is linked to the body or if the mind is linked to the body. A lot of people have located the mind, like the ancient Egyptians connected the mind to the liver or the life to the liver and uh, some people connect the mind to the brain. I've, I've been out of study for a while but look it up, theory of mind is really really interesting but this, <laughs> Dianetics, is not the theory of mind, it is the science of mind. Far simpler than physics or <laughs> Seeing as like, I don't know how you can claim that Dianetics is far simpler than physics and chemistry, seeing as like psychology is, is currently an evolving science. Like there's very little that's like completely grounded. And you're gonna say that that's simpler than physics or chem- Fuck off, Ron. It compares them in the exactness of its axioms. I don't know what the fuck axiom means. Leave your comments down below since I need that word defined. And is on a considerably higher echelon of usefulness. The hidden source of all psychosomatic ills and human aberration has been discovered and skills have been developed for their invariable cure. That is demonstrably false. The hidden s hold on. The hidden source, I'm stuck on the first page, the hidden source of all psychosomatic ills and human aberration has been discovered and skills have been developed for their invariable cure. This is false. This is snake oil. All the ills have not been found, have not been discovered, let alone all of the cures. Do you actually think that the power of suggestion is so powerful it can cure all mental ills? Ron. Ron, my guy. Like, I know you're dead, but apparently Scientologists don't die, so wherever you are in the universe right now, Ron. Fuck off. Dianetics is actually a family of sciences. Oh, wonderful. It's a family of sciences embracing the various humanities and translating them into useful, precise definitions. So it's a dictionary. The present volume deals with individual Dianetics and is a handbook containing the necessary skills both for handling of interpersonal relations and the treatment of the mind. With the techniques presented in this handbook, the intelligent layman can success- Don't backhanded compliment me, the intelligent layman- can successfully treat all psychosomatic ills and inorganic aberrations. I don't know what the fuck that means, my guy. Like, Ron, if you're out there, leave me some fucking definitions. What are inorganic aberrations? Talking about psych like narcotics? Drugs? What, what are we talking here? More importantly, the skills offered in this handbook will produce the Dianetic clear and optimum individual with intelligence considerably greater than the current normal, or the Dianetic release, an individual who has been freed from their major anxieties or illnesses. The release can be done in less than 20 hours of work. <laughs> Ambitious. And is a state of superior, is a state superior to any produced by several years of psychoanalysis. Since, yeah. It, it's a state superior to psycho the psychoanalysis because this is bullshit and psychoanalysis is a developing field. No one, not one, no one I know has been able to release themselves of all of their anxieties in 20 hours. Fuck you. Fuck you, Ron. Fuck you. This is bullshit. Since the release isn't, will not relapse. What do you mean 
the release will not relapse. So you're saying that as soon as they're cured of their anxieties, they will never have that anxiety again? That's not how anxiety treatment works. You need to condition- ah, You know what? I'm arguing with an idiot, so... <laughs> is this what I have to do to like start my own cult? Is just like, lie a bunch and sound convincing? It sounds easy. It sounds like really easy. I like I just need a a bunch of idiots to buy into it. No? Dianetics is an exact science and its application is on the order of but simpler than engineering. So Dianetics is not one science, it's a family of sciences. It's easier than chemistry and physics and it's not it's, it's, it's an exact science, or family of sciences, and its application is on the order of, but is simpler than, engineering. Ron! Ron. Its axioms should not be confused with theories since they demonstrably exist as natural laws hitherto undiscovered. <sighs> How are you how are you gonna confuse Dianetics or the axioms of Dianetics with theories that have, that exist as natural laws but are undiscovered? What the fuck are you talking about? Man has known many portions of Dianetics in the past thousands of years, but the data was not evaluated for importance, was not but the data was not evaluated for importance, was not organized into a body of precise Of course, of course man knew this for thousands of years, but nobody managed to write it the fuck down. Of course. What a, what a brilliant cop-out, Ron. What a brilliant fucking cop-out. I'm mad. Like, I've, so far, I have been lied to, I have been intentionally confused, I have been gaslit, and I'm not even two pages into the book. Like, the book technically hasn't even started. I'm still on the synopsis, which, by the way, is barely a synopsis. It's like 10 pages long. Like, if you're gonna write a synopsis, you make it like a couple of paragraphs. What the fuck kind of synopsis is 10 pages long? Ron? I'm mad. I'm mad. In addition to these, in addition to things known, if not evaluated, if you know things that haven't been evaluated, they are not known. <laughs> That's not how science works. You can't call this a science if it hasn't been evaluated. <laughs> Dianetics includes a large number of new discoveries of its own about thought and the mind. They're just a bunch of hypotheses that are probably just snake oil that you're selling to people. Like, not only is this deeply frustrating, but it's really hot in here and I'm like sweating. Not just because it's hot, but also because I'm angry. <laughs> The axioms may be found on the end of sheets of this volume, understood and applied, they embrace the field of human endeavour and thought it yield precise results. Well, none of that matters because this is all gibberish. The first contribution of Dianetics is the discovery that the problems of thought and mental function can be resolved within the bounds of the finite universe, which is to say that all data needful to the solution of mental action and man's endeavour can be measured, sensed and experienced as scientific truths independent of mysticism or metaphysics. The various axioms are not assumptions or theories, the case of past ideas about the mind and are laws about and are laws which can be subjected to the most vigorous, vigorous laboratory and clinical tests. If that is the case then why haven't you done that? Why have you paid off a bunch of hacks to write some false fucking papers on your behalf? Because it's bullshit! That's why. The first law of Dianetics is a statement of the dynamic principle of existence. Okay. Do you see how like everything I've read so far is confusing, but in the forward, like in the beginning, he is, he has already placed the caveat that if you don't understand something, you're meant to read it over and over and over again until you understand it or like find the definitions of the words so that you understand exactly what it's saying. But it doesn't matter how many times you go back, like that is gibberish. It makes no sense in what it's saying. Like the way that it described Dianetics, if we were to, like I'd need to highlight it, but if we were to break it down, he said that it's easier than chemistry or physics. It's a family of sciences, so not just a science, and it's got the same mechanisms as engineering, but it's simpler than engineering. But at the same time, it's meant to be like a, a stand-in for psychology, which is a developing field and is not easy to understand and is not easy to go through because there are a lot of hypotheses um, that are still being studied. There are a lot of theories as well that are, that are still being confirmed and a lot of studies that are still being held. 
but like and and like there's all this bullshit about you know there are natural laws that have been undiscovered so like how do you know they're natural laws if they've been undiscovered how how do you how can you claim something is a natural law when you don't even know it exists because it's undiscovered hello because it's confusing and in the forward it said if you find something confusing then keep reading it until you figure out what the fuck it means that is scientology in a nutshell it's just incessant power of suggestion and gaslighting that's what it is and it's fucked up and i'm <laughs> like i'm i'm confused because like as i as i said at the begin at the beginning i've been like playing with the idea of like starting my own cult for fun or for like because i'm bored or because i actually think i'm an oracle but i mean we'll figure that out in the future like that's future phase problem but like i'm wondering if it's this simple to fool people if it's this simple like you just use a bunch of intelligent words like big words like axioms which i don't know the word i don't know the definition of and they and they've included a glossary in this book that doesn't have like that it's not in there so like what am i meant to do go and buy a dictionary or like google it no I, I i came here for some reading like how are you a number one bestseller you're clearly not a top read you might be a bestseller because it was a fad to get into scientology or like read up on scientology like like five years ago but i doubt that everybody's who's bought this book has read it first of all because it's such a fucking goliath of a book with a glossary oh that felt Okay, I found a use. I found a use for the book. It's a fan. Like, this is just garbage. Like, it's just nonsense. Everything I've read so far, and I have just read, like, the inserts, the blurb, the foreword, and now part of the syn part of a 10 page synopsis. Ron, what are you doing? My guy, how did you convince so many people to pick up this shit and then also pay for it? how like show me your ways man i want to make that kind of money <laughs> did he release a book on how to lure suckers into your fucking pyramid scheme because i would read that book we'll just have to keep going through this and seeing what else ron had to tell people about their mind <laughs> and just go from there um thank you for watching this video i hope it was entertaining um i'm sorry for the confusion and like the heat because i'm sure you can probably feel it through the screen at this point it's so warm in here i'm gonna need to go and lie out in the park to just dry off because it's so warm and i will see you in the next video probably on friday for simp warfare um, if you like this video, please do remember to like, share and subscribe. I'm almost I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, which was my target for the end of summer. So please do subscribe if you are not subscribed. And if you're not subscribed or you know people who aren't subscribed and would enjoy my content, please do forward my content that way. I hope you had a good time. I uh, had a very confusing time with Ron and his book, but I hope you had a good time, at least. That would make this all worth it. Otherwise, this was just a huge waste of time. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, Chris, thank you for this suggestion. John, thank you for the book, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>